Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey guys, Son of Beast here. This is another NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Now this is the last part of the game in Game 7. As the last one was the Rangers that already have lost in the first round against the Tampa Bay Lightnings. The Lightnings have been a better team as a wild card team upsets the number one seed of the team. They are moving on to the second round to face against the Carolina Hurricanes at the PNC Arena. But that will be your next game underway soon, so you'll see them how well they will play. And now, this is it. We are sending you down to the Western Conference side for the last part of the game. Final two teams in the first round, as right now as the Golden Knights face on against the Oilers. This is as they've done before. The Oilers have started and made with a winning in Game 1. Then, the Golden Knights have their answer was in Game 2. Then, before at Vegas, Oilers took it out, and both Vegas Golden Knights tied that series back again. Then the Oilers win in Game 5, and now Game 6 was the winner of the Golden Knights. Now, this is where it comes down to this. Will this be the end for the Golden Knights? Or, will this be the end for the Edmonton Oilers? We'll see how this goes. Now standing by, I have this Boomer along with Lightbulb and the third commentary of the crew. All goes for Wood Spoonie. The set of rights I have in a crossword gear as I will send it over to the other side. This time, I have it all called for Cool Beast. Yes, that's right. He's back again. I haven't done it with this for so long, but hopefully now it's going to be turning out to be great. And find out what goes in for the next part of the game. Here we go. Last game in the first round, and this will be finished. Let's get going. Boomer, all for you. It's Game 7. Boomer here, along with my broadcasting partner, with the other commentators. I also have it right in between of those two, by a river former of design from Rick Spoonie. And finally, from the center ice, it's Cool Beats. And my first commentary of the crew, I have it across right here, it's Fan. Let the game begin, and it's Game 7. Do or Duck. First save of the night comes in for Aiden Hill. He will start things over for a first. Here's the start one in between for Trangelo and McDavid. And what's for Trangelo? That's one of his better on his shutdown ability. He's been an offensive artist, great at uh, throwing on his better of uh, his stance. He's trying to find another concentration in there if he can try to shut them down. Connor McDavid has one of the wheels that he is trying to pick off with his run of and look on a better offense. The better the playing transition is a hard one for McDavid if he puts on the fast wheels in the break. I have a lot of range in between. Let's find if one of those two can handle it over. In between Bachangelo or McDavid. Back to you. As right now I have light bulb here. Here's a start here for Marchessel. Right towards the left wing. Tries to give off to Brisson. Brisson lost the puck as now it's nurse with the puck. And then they over now back the air away. He's off to dry side. Try to pass the puck too soon. This one stopped by Ian Hill. On its way back down again, here's Big David. Shoots one, and there's a penalty called on the Vegas Golden Knights. They're going to start their first power play for the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, and it's a bad one that's going to happen now. I mean, great Brisson had a little bit of a hard taking over here, but that one was not going to take that long. They're good. He had that tripping over the range, and that one's going to hurt on the David. Our power play starts here. First one for the Edmonton Oilers in Game 7 with 18-28. Got piece of win as right on the Vegas Golden Knights will have their puck and will carry the puck out of here. Got Pierce Ekholm with the puck. He now has to deep over again to Perry. Perry right towards the right wing. Shoots one! Big save here by Ian Hill. On the rebound now by the Nurse. Shoots with save. Now back to Emilio with the puck. Keeps the puck out of here, and this will clear the puck out of here. Now the Oilers will grab the group. Nurse finds again to Perry. 
Perry slides it across the Mecklio. This is the puck in range, and now it's Perry with the puck out finding again to Ekholm. Ekholm trying to make his way through. Because Perry shoots it, and Saint puts it up by Aiden Hill. Aiden Hill has just really been keeping it out here for a longer time period. He's been taking in a lot of the sides, a better person in sciences, and he's been doing really well with his better performance effort, doing some wild sides over by Thompson. It's just really how hard it's going to keep it going, but hopefully uh, he will try to find out if he can get that save in there. Here's Perry. On oh, his way to McLeod, this one sucked. On oh, a shot, saved here by Aiden Hill. That was a good chance right now to get an early goal, but that one stopped already with 17.05 to go. Leon Dreisaitl has one of the tape-to-tape -tape zone abilities that he has a great one to take the percentage of it. He's trying to find out what if he's passing percentage here during the power play, and I'll find out if he has that one coming in. He steps in right toward the left wing. Stumbles across. David's got that puck. Now finds again to Hyman. Hyman gives it over to Nugent Hawkins. Shoots one and safe. Puts in by Aiden Hill. Tries out on the area of the line. And David shoots. Trying to fuck it in there and it's stopped by Aiden Hill. Looks like he's almost out there, ready to go. And David gives it back to Hyman. Hyman loses the puck and he power plays over for the Edmonton Oilers. A one for the game. They've really been doing really uh, on a hard constipation. And you know, this one is not really turning to be an easy look, but that stuff is turning to be a lot of shine gone. First goal starts in for Carlson. That'll be his first goal of the night in game seven against the Oilers. Now that one, you gotta take it over again with a bigger rebound, and then that is where you're gonna start that off with a great goal ever. Now you have that one a little bit of a great rebound. You got the puck in there, and this one is gonna keep that one out on the side of the look. That beauty backhand is going to take up William Carlson, and you just made this one a lot easier to try to trick it up. Start of his night for William Carlson, as right now the Golden Knights are on the front of the board. 1-0 over Edmonton Oilers. Now he will make the face-off win as Petrangelo will have the puck. Puck stumbled down. He is Petrangelo. Finds it over again and march yourself. You step up. Now finds again. Here's, here's Darnell Nurse. Nurse gives it again to McDavid. Martinez with a puck with only 1547 left to go in the first period. Marchessault lost that puck. Fans are going wild in Black Rogers place. Here comes Nurse. Gives it again to the dry side off. Looks to Connor McDavid. McDavid over it again to CC. Shot. They flick it off the defender skater and it goes right back to the Blue Knights. Battle Rapid is the K tactician here. And this one is really turning to be a little bit of a close angle here to block the shot from against the goaltender to have that one with the tie game in perfection. This might be a turning a key wind in between and have that one all coming in there. Here's the Hawkins. Finds the pass again in Darnell Nurse. Darnell Nurse finds it again in your mark shot. Safe here by Aiden Hill. 14.38 to go in the first period. Still a 1 0 game for the Golden Knights. They are up by one. Teams are set, ready for the faceoff. Still a lot of time left in the period. Only 1 0 for Vegas. And now here's Theodore. Has that puck for now, fighting to get the full star. Takes a bubble hit down. Now Nurse will have it over again to Yamark. And here's Evander Kane. Is it over? Got her with the puck steal. Bolsar has got it now. Big hit on a whip. Got her with the puck now with only 14 minutes to go in the first period. The U signs Rue. On a rebound, save puts up by Skinner. Skinner with a couple of saves as the Bander King will have a deep across again to Dijon Hopkins. Here's the pass. Shoots it. It's safe. Puts it in by Aiden Hill. Shea Theodore with the puck with only 14 for you to go. Morelli. This is that one, and Cece gives it again to Darnell Nurse. Darnell Nurse trying to give it over, deep pass. Finding it over again is Perry. Shoots in close, save by Hill. Hill's going to hold on with that bubble with only 13 23 to go. Now the officials are waiting for the faceoff. Still a 1 0 lead for Vegas. The wind puts it up. Here's Bouchard. 
Spins it across, not finding again to Perry. Perry shoots and scores! Matt Cleo with the first of that game. Now the tie is this game up. And he's here with the Matt Cleo. Matt Cleo, you have that one here coming in from. And I want to put the puck in there. I'm going to just put it in for the stop. You know what we use it off here? And this is what happens now. When you get it off the car and it's Matt Cleo, you have that good wide open with the shot. Bound and stops in Zelda. But you have a Toronto's. We're good. I've been fucking off. That's the ball for that. It's really amazing right now. Everybody's just been loving it here, and all you can ever see is now. The first goal comes in here for the Edmonton Oilers. They start that one with the LED. As of right now, the, the winning faceoff goes to Edmonton Oilers. He's McLeod on here two. This one's stopped here by Ian Hill, as McLeod will give it again to Zuchar. Trying to flick it in there, but this one stayed out. Loose Hayden with the puck. Now finds Dennis Sanko. 2 on one attack. Echo with the puck steal. In his own entry, did Vegas zone. Tries to fire the shot. Plus save here by Aiden Hill. 12 37 left to go in the first period. It's now a tie game after a 1 0 lead for Vegas. Now they're ready to do another face off. Critical draw between the Canadian team and the American team. Now the way we'll put it in for the Vegas Golden Knights is Petrangelo. Foul for the loose puck of the chain. He goes down. Try to have it over to get him at will. Here's that pull. And Fulton now finds it over. Here's Barbashev with the steal back to Petrangelo. Petrangelo right toward the right wing, now finding Barbashev. Pat save here by Skinner. You know, an easier way to do this here for Skinner. He has that one here with a lot of perfectionary. He's trying to make it this one a lot of good appearances, but it doesn't happen. Most of his better on Sikini inbound is it's not really turning to be a like everybody's idea. But that key is everyone gets it done. The Edmonton Rollers are tied up with 1-1 one one with 11.50 to go in the first period. Now gives a win for the Vegas Golden Knights. He gives Peter a shot. Rocket blasts and this one's denied by the goaltender. Just got to make sure you have this one popping out. That one's going to take a lot of time out there to get there. And the save will stop in for Skinner with 11.35 left to go in the first. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for a good goal ahead goals in the lead for 2 1. McDavid wins the face up as Echo will give the game to charge. Now he finds Streisand. Streisand not finding a shot. Two for Connor McDavid. Shoots one. Big rebound play. This one has been knocked out. As Shea Fiedor will now have it again to Brisson. Here's Brisson. Back in and scores. This one goes back in the lead as Brisson gets his first goal in game number seven. Against the Oilers. We'll have to do that one anyway. We've got the Brisson just had a great go ahead goals. Took it from here. The background of what I'm saying. When he beats him passing for two man defenders, he had that one with the right target and he is trying to look over and said, I'll go ahead and take the back end instead of going four game. He just did it this way and no one has ever believed that he had that one with the first goal of this guy. It's now a 2-1 game as the Vegas are on top of the front. McNabb with the re with the assist and trying to look for a goal to get go through here. Takes a bump up hit. We saw go for two. Save here. That's one saved back and right now again to CC. CC picks the puck out of here. Here's Mark himself. Block the shot. And here's Simon with the puck with only 10.42 to go. He's right down towards Hill on the right wing and trying to have it over again. The dry side save here by Ian Hill. Nearing the midway mark of the period, still a 2-1 game. Now the face off win for the Golden Knights. McNabb trying to work his way across now back to Peter. Peter gives the game to Cotter. Cotter, oh big kick! What a big moment! Y'all marks out that puck. Now is it over to game to CC. CC comes the puck out of here on our game for the Knights. McNabb firing the puck out of here to make a loose puck chain. And here's McNabb now finds again to Shea Peter. Takes a big whip hit. 
Can't hold on to the puck as the boundary pin now gets a Galmar. Nearing from the net and hits the goalposts. And it's stopping. Trying to keep it out of here. Because Wu will have it over to get with 9.30 to go. Colesar with the puck. Trying to hand it over. Trying to shoot it. But this one gets clocked up. And now CC will have an advantage over. Now finally get a game. Kane took a, take advantage of a hit as many old guy began to call it. Here's Cotter. Right to the right wing. Finds Stephenson. Stephenson gives to Cotter. Shoots and safe. Puts it up by Skinner. McLeod with the puck. On his racing down. Takes a big hit as Petrangelo moves it away. Gives it over to Stephenson. Shoots. Save here in front of the play by Skinner. Just got to hop and now because it's Stuart Skinner. He has been pushing it in there. A lot of bigger sides are putting a lot of impact. There's a very great chance out there that they can try to like able to hound it off. And this one may not be the key to have it in there. They gotta make sure they have that one stumble down. Sebastian gives it again to Martinez, and now he finds it over again to Emilio. A chance for Emilio, and a save puts it in by Skinner. Edmonton back in the other way, and now he finds Pogel. Pogel can't hold it with the kick as a shutdown puts in for Petrangelo. Barbershop's got the puck and now he finds it again for Petrangelo. Trying to keep the puck out of here. Scoop up along the wall by Stephenson. This is the puck, now finds it again by Leon Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl working this way on towards the right wing. Big on the tackle takedown. What a hit for the Golden Knights. You know, you could say what happens. If this one's barely a clash zone in the Knights territory, they're expecting that this one is going to take a lot of time out there. They're just making this one a battle takedown. And you just know, that's going to like take a lot of time. Nobody would have to defend it, and they are really are bounding it out of here. This is a big hit, and they're really are trying to stay out of focus or sight. you got to make sure that's going to be keeping in there. And they are really on a hard pressure doing it all over again. Here's White Cloud with the puck. Now trying to find another move. Here's a shot. He kind of went that bound. Lions gave you. White Cloud shoots it. Safe puts it by Skinner. And he's going to offer the whistle here with 6.25 left to go in the first period. Well, this is the game set ready for the faceoff. Two waters where he sat at last. Now the way in for the Edmonton Oilers. Now they're ready to bring things back as Brown will have it. Brown had it. And a delay penalty call on the, I mean, Vegas School of Knights. Yeah, they're bringing the extra skater on because that happened to be an air fairs. That's a call cross-checking. They really expect it now that Slash is put it in there. They're messing somebody up there now. So now, he's going to have to be in a penalty box. Power play, power play is coming up for the Everton Oilers. A chance to take the tie or be broken out. The Oilers are now ready to bring their extra attacker, and this is now an 0-2 advantage for the Edmonton Oilers. The win puts it for the Oilers. He shoots one! Big on a save play! Kane takes it back to McLeod. Rude. Now's that puck and we'll dump it out. The Oilers are bringing their offensive zone as the man Van Van is still in percentage. Here's Barry. Third, but there again, my third. Shoots it, save, puts it up by Aiden Hill. McDab, I don't even believe he's fucking a chain. McLeod, who's that fucking that for? Rue with the puck. Decided to look for the short game goal. For the bill, save, puts it up by Skinner. McLeod with the puck, now finding to get a parry. And here's Pete Evander Kane. Sidesteps it. The rebound puts it up here for Ekholm, and he will now have a chance now. And a shot, don't take the effort, as now Petrangelo will have it out. They're now nose with the puck. Gives it again to Echo. Puts it over again to McElroy. McElroy, right to the right wing. Here's Perry shooting one. And this one's stopped by McNabb. Gives it again to Carlson. Trying to pass to second save. Moves it around. Good save here. Puts it up by Skidder. Nurse bringing the team advantage. 40 seconds left to remain in that Oilers power play. Evander Kane gets to Perry, shoots one, and it's been broken up as Martinez gets again to Carlson. 
Looks like it's time. It's about to expire. Nurse back again to Eddie Ekholm. Ekholm gives it again to McLeod. To take the time, blocker step eight by Eddie Will. Well, it's really a bigger use here now. You've never been playing on a lot of the challenges. That's Morelli, but didn't really care about it. He just really wanted to make the clock get taken over it for one time or alone. But unfortunately, this didn't really care how to happen. They've been really are trying to get this in a lot of a good strength and get right to the target on board. It's not really easy when everybody has been doing it for, but they can't let that one get stuffed out if they have the right time in the romantic. Like Larry finds again Barry. Terry shoots, save, puts it up by, by Hill, and the dam has that puck. Takes it out of here, as Kane will have it over. Now finds it again, Echo. Echo, they're shut shot. Safe puts it up by Aiden Hill. Shea Theodore with three minutes going by in the first period. He finds Marchesel. Marchesel can't hold on. The scared, puts up another safe. And Perry will have it again to Echo. With under three minutes. Akluon can't hold on with the puck. Echo trying to look over again. Rishon's tail is the puck. A chance of play. Here's Carlson. Bad stop made here by Skinner. Carlson gets whipped it out. Nurse, who got in the puck, now finding it over the diagonal pass again. He went done. And now that the, the Vegas are putting another territory in the Oilers, here's McLeod. Two minutes going by in the first period, as Perry will have it. Pass broken up. Nobody open up. Will Welly with the puck with under two minutes. Trying to take a shot. Save puts it up by Skinner. Echo with some chance. Into the right wing inbound, finding out the way. Safe by Ian Hill. Keeps the puck out of here as Mike Cloud has to begin with Derek Sanko. Derek Sanko trying to roll it in. And this one stopped. Echo trying to give it over with the pass over again. No open room for error. Step it in. Into the left wing. Now finds it over again. The white line shoots it stop, puts it up by Skinner. Last minute remaining to play in the first period, and it's now McLeod with 2 1 in the game. McLeod trying to keep it in. Shoots its block. Turn him side and rebound. Hale tries to put a stop with 51 seconds. You know, that's how it's going to handle, you know. That's what Aim Hill is trying to keep that advantage in there. But that way, he's trying to deny it, trying to get in there as clean as he can. Another win puts it in for the Vegas Old Knights as Petrangelo will have it over again to Barbershop. Barbershop shoots it safe, puts it up by Skinner. Gulak is again to dry side. Dry side can't hold on with the puck. Finds the video with 30 seconds left to remain in the first. Now finds second set. That's blocked up. McDavid with a chance and timing and effort as the shot is with the puck that finally get a Hyman. Hyman can't hold on to it. Fires the puck out of here. Martinez, try to battle for the loose puck. Step it in with the puck. Now finds it again a rubber shed with one second, and that will dump it out. So that ends the first period. Vegas pulled the Knights up by two to one over Edmonton Oilers. We'll take a quick break, and we'll get back into the second period after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Welcome back to Rogers Place as we're ready to start the second period of the Game 7. And we're off and ready to get this thing going as right now it's a 2-1 game for the Edmonton Oilers against the Golden Knights. Now as I have your take over in between you two guys, of Lightbolt and of course Wood Screamy, let's have your takes here for a first period recap. They've been doing really well in this other offensive struggle. They're offensively are just trying to play in a really strength. If the Edmonton Oilers are bringing a fight back and looking for some uh, look for new answers, they want to make sure they have it in there. I'm pretty sure that they're going to let's find someone else in there, and then probably with the goal, they might happen to be kind of familiar. I would love to see what goes in there if they can try to keep that out. Same thing always, and I really love to see what they can do. If right now if Mick Diamond and the time, they could definitely just be like anybody. The Golden Knights will have the buck possession now finally get to Brisson. 19 10 to go in the second period on the start. That's not McDavid, we'll have it over again, passing to Dry Saddle. Dry Saddle trying to get covered up right now. The no Market Soul now finds it over again. Woolworth to Brisson. 
again to Portangelo. Portangelo trying to find it over to Kenna Martinez. Martinez trying to go with some battle takedown. This one stops it over. Watch yourself goes down. Here's Nurse. A chance now back in the air away in the effort. Here's Lyman. On the air away, looking for some of the four attackers. But to the shot, Saint puts it in. On a rebound chain, tied up is nowhere to be near. And Jonathan now finds again to Hyman. Hyman now finds it over again. Nurse shoots it wide. Behind the net is Virgil. Now finds it over to Gunnar Barbashev. Takes a big hit. That's a big walk out moment right there. Just really making this in a hard contact play. Don't get away with that. Now for Jankel with the puck with only 17.48 to go. Stephens to try to get in there. Well, saved by Skinner. And now he rolls the puck here, getting ready for the faceoff. Now they're ready for another faceoff. Two ones to score. Four in Eagles and Knights. Now they're waiting. Here's Noodle. Big smackdown. And that goal will have the puck on the other side. And on the other way, here comes Yamar. He looks to King. King gets again to Bouchard. Shoots! Gets stopped made by Aiden Hill. This one's a little bit of a compact out there, but they're really trying to make that one forceful. Trying to keep it in there. Just the right timing. Hey fans, if you're looking for your next uh, voting in to choose which matchup you'd like to go with, the voting will be opening here on July 17th and the 18th for the NHL and NBA. So it's your choice and your call to find out who do you want to go with, but there's another choice. This will be one of each of the matchups between the Canadian team and the American team for both Eastern and Western Conference. If you're looking to find a great matchups in between, there will be some voting chance in between, and you'll choose which team you go for. There are a couple options, but only one team, as Arizona Coyotes, will not be including their home games. They will be renaming their changes here due to our multiple love little relocations in between after the end of 2024 season. At this point, for a new year in 2024 to 25, this will be a new location to Salt Lake City, as we will head them back there for season five to get back into it soon. And possibly, there might be another chance over that they can get through. Now here's that goal you allow that puck in. Now that's once again, it's a new episode, new season, and looking for another place to be here. If you're looking for the NHL and the NBA matchups, choose which team you're going for. It's all with the opening of this good part of the votes for the poll. We'll be casting in here for season four of NHL 25 and season nine of the NBA 2K25. That will be all games only on Sunday Beats. If you have any other teams that you would like to see, feel free to leave a comment below or choose in between. Hearing down the 50 market period, still 2 1 game by the Golden Knights. Now, the one will put it up as Nurse will have it over with 15.50 left to go. Gives it again to CC. CC gets fumbled out, and Perry will have it. Tries to get off the Fragile, and this one's been bumped up, and a save puts in by Aiden Hill. The Giants open them up with 15 Perry to go. Toward the right wing. Lost that puck. Here's CC. And Darnell Nurse will have it again to Perry. Perry is right towards the center. Trying to hand it off with the attackers. Martinez with the puck. Now finds it again to Morelli. Morelli trying to handle it over. Back to yours. Gives it again to Fogel. Fogel on the 2 on 2 fast break. He goes down and back to Crows again to Martinez. On the salt right toward the right wing. He finds it to be sawed. Shot. Sid puts up by Skinner. It's what's really happened to be a harder take over here because it's towards Skinner. He's making this in a, a great chance here. They are trying to make this in a lot harder and challenging to have it in there. I'm hoping there's another great change of it that can try to keep it going. Kulak's got the puck. Finding a shot. Sick. Puts it by Aiden Hill. Portrangelo with the puck. Now finds it over again to Brisson. Brisson gets pushed over. Here's McDavid. McDavid for a tie. And the blocker stopped made here by Aiden Hill. 
Keep David trying to get the fuck out of here. Now here's Kula. Kula for Tyre and a save puts it in by Hill. It'll be number one for the Golden Knights as they're back the other way. They're not they really are doing a lot of chances in there. I mean, they are just going too crazy. They need to find something else to try to keep it out of here alive. The assignment. Into the Golden Knights zone. Shoots it, stopped by Aiden Hill, and now Martinez again to protect the road. He's right there on the wall. Martinez with the puck. In toward the corner, now finding a video. A video now finding seven set. Shoots, save, puts up by skill. A video. Try to handle it in now. Going for the back there. This is I one. Here's Hayu. On a rebound, puts it in. There's Bobby Shuttle now having to get into White Cloud. Glove save by skill. 12.47 left to go in the second period. Well, well, pretty good lucky credit here for the Everton Oilers as Stuart Skinner. He's probably getting a great saves in between. But hold on, though, because see, he's trying to get this one in there, and he wants to have a lot of bunch of saves in there. Hopefully he's going to start keeping it going in there as soon as he can. That's where save puts in for Stuart Skinner. Here's Bouchard. Bouchard fires a shot. Blocked it up out of defensive traffic. Second save. Lost the puck and now it goes back over again to Bouchard. Now finding Echo. Echo begins to King. King looks it again to Bujanakis. Bujanakis shoots and saves and putting it in for Aiden Hill. The rebound is for step. Barbershop trying to keep it out of here. Puck sets free. Still available. And now Step and will have it over again to Amelia. 2 on 1 opportunity. That's wide off the mark as Yon Mark will have it. Yamark finds it again to King. Kane gets a little bit smacked out. He finds Hagu. Hagu over it again to Kosar. Kosar goes down. And now here's King. Back the airway it goes. Back to Bouchard. Bouchard sliding across. Safe puts it inbound for Aiden Hill. Hagu with the buck now finding it again to White Cloud. And he now finds it over. This one's been knocked out. Takes a big hit. And Hagu will have it over it again. The pass is broken up. And here's Holloway. Holloway will start his appearance here for game seven. And he loses the puck and now finds it over to get a group. Smackdown right near the board. Brown. Gives it over again to Gaffner and again to Holloway. Holloway trying to make his way through. This is that one. Big safe play by Aiden Hill. 10 37 left to go in the second period. Still a 2 1 game. Now here's another face-off coming up for the Edmonton Oilers and the Golden Knights. 10.37 left to go, new in a big way walk. Now the win will put it in for the Golden Knights. For change look. Trying to make his way across again to Carlson. Carlson right to the right wing. And a save puts up by Skinner. Near the midway mark of the period. We'll have some time to rest and get ready for some face-off. If you're looking for your next games here, we have a start one coming in for you as we, this second round will be will be first look of appearances for the Nuggets and the Tim and the Dallas Mavericks on the other side of it. That'll be all games here. That will be after the last two games between the Cavaliers and the Pacers. And following along with the next part of the game is the Timberwolves facing against the Suns. That'll be all the games here. That will be coming up. Ready for some uh, better matchups on 2G Sports right after game seven. And looks like he's ready to get in the penalty box now. I mean, that interference is going to take it. I think the mascot's pretty excited and I feel like, yes, this is what we do. I mean, he's never been up for the charge for some reason. Is this the goal or what? I don't know how it is. Now the face off is ready to get this thing over before he ever notice. Looking for a goal on the power play. The Vegas wins the face off. And returns over the puck. Fire the puck out again. Worse in the puck right now, and here's a video behind the net. We'll try to deny that one here as a video gets to get a return to the Loses that one. Crooks. Now here's Perry with the puck now finding it again to Echo. Finds McClory. McClory to get a Perry. Puts it again to Evander Kane. Evander Kane tries to get over to get a Perry. Shoots it and safe puts it in by Aiden Hill. Rochangelo now finds it over again to Froze. First in with the puck. Fires it out of here. Nurse gives it again to Perry. 
Barry now finds it over to Gabby King. Ed Cook. Work his way across. Ballet across the East Barry. Barry finds McLeod. Shoots it. Save the name. Bad by Aiden Hill. Barry. Try to work his way across here. Right turn to the behind your net. 50 seconds for the Edmonton Oilers power play as we pass the midway mark of Fury. Scoop up along the board by Darnell Nurse. Echo right towards the middle. Wing and a feed. Here's McLeod. This is the puck. Severson will have it. Firing the puck out of here deep. Madness will clear out. And now here's Nurse. Finds it over to get a McLeod. Time is ticking down for the Edmonton Oilers power play. Barry shoots it. Save with a play by Aiden Hill. Looks like it's time ready to get back out there. And that will end it as the man advantage is over. It's an 0-3 run for the Edmonton Oilers. You know, they really did do really well at that point. Just to keep it in there, they are just trying to work it off that hard. I'm just to think that they were really been keeping an eyes on here. Just nowhere to go, and this doesn't mean like he really has a, a better percentage of the clock. Just a great run for the heads up for the goaltender, and for my clear end of the time, they really are trying to get this way. A lot of unstoppable forces to get in from the site. They're just doing really well. Now they have to do another one again, if they can try to help it fix it up. Barry went down. Big takedown for the Golden Knights. It's now about to get a McNabb. Here's we saw. Lost the puck is that cold no havoc. Close game on the effort. Here's Nurse. Nurse. Towards the left wing. Tries to keep it over now. Find it again. McLeod. This one will stop by Hill. With 6.38 to go in the second period. Just have to keep it in there. It's just covering the puck out there quickly. And you just got to have to cover it quickly and fast. Everybody's been going over it right this morning. Now the faceoff is ready to pick things up for the Everton Oilers and the Golden Knights. We're nearing down a five minute mark in the period. Here's McNabb, now finally to get a brace on again to Fedor. Fedor gets a swipe out of it as McDavid brings that call outside of the zone. And he will try to keep the puck in alive as Drysaddle will have it. On a switch, here's McDavid. Brisson, losing that puck range and now finds Marchessault. Marge is right toward the right wing. Goes in the middle, and it's fast broken up. Fires a shot, see, puts up by Skinner. Just gonna be a close call right now because it's Stuart Skinner. He almost had a big reaction in there, trying to keep it out. He scores! Time to steal it up, and the second period is down to five Excellent. I always love that when I'm gonna be trying to pass it. David losing that puck here, and that finds again with Desharnias with the puck. Now finds it again to Hyman. Hyman toward the backhand. No leadoff play for the Edmonton Oilers. Tries to now finds it again to Kulak. Fires a shot. Look, the cannon here. Finds McDavid. Shoots one. Big rebound. Scores. Zach Hyman brings the team up here to lead. Now it's a 3 2 game. All happens now is that Hyman is just putting in there. Charnias with the puck and now flies it over to the Gatka. Five minutes left to remain in the third pe second period. Aiden Hill will try to hold the puck in with only under five minutes to go.
Got the win. Martinez now finds it again to Petrangelo with under five minutes. Again. Petrangelo. Sweeps his round in the middle. Unbelievable stop play as Gagner gives it again to Brown. Brown. Toward the middle for the backhand. Stop made by Aiden Hill. Oh, this one's a little bit too close on the call. I think Aiden Hill might be all right. Still a lot of time left in this period. Oilers find themselves with an answer as they take their lead 3-2. And the will put it in, and that's McNabb will have it again to Barbershop. He finds it again to Stephenson, and now he gives it again to Fyodor. Fyodor, right towards in the right wing. Looks up across. He is Stephenson. The shoot went in! This one has been Novi over, and now it's Holloway again to Brown. Brown can't hold on with the puck. Now it's to Chardiez. He finds it over again to Brown. Brown, right towards the center. Looking for four. Big save on the play. On the ground. Stop right here. 3.6 left to remain in the second period. 3-2 the score for Edmonton. This might be a probable matchup right now, but who do you think is going to win? Now, I'm going to have to say the Edmonton Oilers. I think they're aware they have this for the next matchup. I'm probably saying that this one could be a great matchup in between the Vancouver Canucks and, of course, the Edmonton Oilers. I would love to see this next matchup because at that point, just for real life. I mean, they're playing right now. I mean, I would love to see them if they can get to the third. Oh, big stop by Skinner. Unbelievable. That motion is turning to be harmless. But it's an excellent sight. You can put it in now for Stuart Skinner to have that great and balanced. Now for the win. Here's White Cloud. Pushes out of here. Block the shot. And here's again a video. Thank you, over in the middle. Watching out the play. Skinner builds on with the save. I'm going to have to go with the Golden Knights. I don't know if they can definitely try to answer it, but I hope for night. They might keep it in there if they win this game. They already won six of it, yeah, game six already. And hopefully this might be the next one to keep it in there. White Cloud. No questions on. We saw to tie it, and this one stopped by Carlson. Right behind the net. It's CC with only three minutes to go. Evander Kane trying to keep it out of here. Okay, working this way across, cruising in. No shoot, save right hit. 2.45 left to go in the second period. Looking for an arm goal in there. Just need to keep it in there, and, and the tight focus is just playing everything. You got that one all in, covered out, and you got to make sure you have it in with the better timing on. Now the win puts it in, as White Claw will have it. Finds it to get a march assault. Here's another shot. Skinner picks a save as now CC will have it. Went down. Watch yourself. Back in there. Stop it in there. And CC has it. He's finally not finally going to try something. Finds Brisson. Brisson's on the right wing. Big hit on the slam board. As now it goes back over again to McDavid. Hyman's got it now with two minutes to go in the second period. Hyman. Works his way across. Big chopper stop made here by Ian Hill. White Cloud now finds it over again to Brisson. With a minute and 45 to go. Tries to take a shot. Big save on the play here by the goaltender. And now Brisson's trying to find an open goal. Finds Petrangelo. Looks it again to Martinez. Martinez shoots it and save puts it up by Skinner. Rude. Back over. And he scores. Petrangelo ties this game up. It's now a 3-3 game. You always can't imagine now because of Prochenzo, he got that one go. They wanted to keep it alive for good. Now, it's better to take over, taking eyes off of it, but then when you do this, because that one takes it off, you have that go-ahead goal, and then you have that one pop flying in there. That pop went flying fast, and it just hit off the goalpost. That's what happens now. They're making this one a little bit changing in between the zones. That angle is a hard part, but don't get uncomfortable if you find somebody here. As the Oilers and the Vegas Knights are tied up right now, with a minute and 19 to go, here's the translator now finds Rue. Connor taking the lead, tries out, takes the puck away, and now he rolls it back over to the other side of the zone to the Knights' territory. Trying to take the shot, big save in the play by Hill. 
rolls it out. Little Charles slams the board, and now Okada with the puck. Takes a smash kick. Back to Petrangelo. Save in the play by Skinner. Rude. Petrangelo shot. What a great block here for the Edmonton Oilers. And Nicky Hopkins will have it here in front of it. Good puck. Looks sore. Back behind the net. Save puts up a Vander King. Nicky Hopkins. And Bouchard will have it over again to Yamar. 20 seconds left in the second period. Watching out for Morelli. Morelli gets it up to Denisenko. Shoots it. Blocker stop made. This one stop by Skinner. Denisenko shoots. Save puts it up by Skinner again. Just gotta have to get in there. If there's another have a choice, try to freeze that puck. And that's gonna end the second period. One goal for Pochangelo brought their team to a tie. As we come down to two end periods on the end, third period is next after this. Close game so far, but now this is all comes down to this in the third period. And hope you have been full with us, and this is where the final period starts in game three. As we are ready to have to find out who will take the lead off in the game. I will have the two commentators in between for the, for the recap of the second period. Well, they really are doing well at that point. I can tell you now they are just trying, trying to fight their way off. And the victory plans is not always turning to be the same thing. They're making this one a little bit of a hard chance on their power play of the beauty. But this one is really turning to be a little too much of a difficult traffic out there that they're trying to find a looking home. You know, their offense is not putting in there a lot of strength. And I'm hoping there is another way that they can try to like answer it back. But hopefully, let's find out if there is another thing. Three potentially shoots it safely, Skinner. We saw three rebound scores. Jonathan Marching Soul puts their go ahead goal, and now they're up in the lead. Just got to believe now, Jonathan Marching Soul's really getting a lot of purity, pure moment, trying to keep that out. Now, how that happened here is we just we have to be resawn to get that puck look. And this one was going on one of the big chains, and I had that one go right ahead. This one is not turning to be what they expect it to be, but that's what their goal is, keeping an outside look. As the Oilers are trying to find a way to make their offense pay off, 4 3 score for the Vegas Golden Knights. And now they win the face off. He's potential with the puck, and now he finds it over again, trying to look over for an open back. In the way. Flights through Solomon. Saved by the pad by Skinner. Off to CC. This is again Hyman. Hyman does it over to get to McDavid. Shoots it. Saved. Puts it up. Trying to put a rebound. And this one's stuck by Aiden Hill. Oh, that was a little close out there. Aiden Hill just got that cover. What a play making. Now the teams are ready for the faceoff. 4 3 is the score. And 8.45 left to go. Now the way we'll play it up is Martinez with the puck. Now gives it over again to Mark Portrangelo. Portrangelo trying to find a way to get over it. Now finds Bissan, shoots it, fat save, and glove save by the Skinner. Unbelievable moment as he tries to pick it up, but would never stop. That play almost is starting to be a lot harder than they're expecting it. I'm pretty sure that they were just putting it in there. It's a lot of great, uh, helpful use of the team. Keep that one in the right target if you get there. Big win puts it up here for the Vegas Golden Knights. As he went down, as Marcus Sell will have it. Finally, for the puck chain. Losing it over. And here's Carlson. Carlson, right toward the middle slot, saved by Skinner. 18.06 to go in the third period. Trying to keep the puck out of here, and now it comes down toward the end of it, near an 18 minute mark. That away puts in for Vegas. He went down. And David finds it over to get a Hyman. Hyman skips his own. And he went down. Trying to pick up a rebound for the Oilers. It's now a medium will have it again for Changelo. 17.45 left to go in the third period. Tries to give off the step of tip. Shoots it! Pat saved here by Skinner. A medium trying to battle the loose puck. And here's Nurse. Nurse trying to keep it out of here. And the video will have to get a Bochangelo. Finds Martinez. Martinez again to Stephenson. Stephenson. Toward the right wing. In the middle. Saving put in bay by Skinner. 
Y'all mark as a video having to get a second time with the shot scores. Even Barbashev with the go-ahead goal now extends another lead 5-3. They're just making this one a lot of the challenges. They have no respect of how that happened. You know, when that puck steals it over, that's what even Barbashev has been putting in there. It's a one-time goal effort. That didn't really take a lot much harder to take. All that feeling, it's just not a no way bro. That's just going to be taking too much of a time, and this one's not going to be happy enough at all to try to pick up another uh, goal to head in between. Now the wind will play it in for Ekholm as he will have it over into the right wing. And the pass is broken up. But yeah, it's now tough I need to get to Barbashev. Now tries to find it over the other video. Shoots it sink, puts it in by Skinner. Barbashev trying to keep the puck out of here. Here's Yamar. Clears the puck out of here. Oilers and the Knights are racing for the puck. Feed off. Over now, finding it again to Emilio. 16 23 left to go in the third. Now has it over again. Connor Stutz scores. Their extension now has been cut into two and extend three. Well, they're really expecting now. I think the Golden Knights are going to be moving on, so it looks like they're happy now to bring it in there with a better chance. You know, Paul Cotter, he was trying to get that goal. That one time effort, he just had that one, a C9 motion, and that one is turning over to be over by Bouchard, and now that goal puts it in by Skinner. The Golden Knights are up ahead right now. It is now a 6-3 game as they're trying to keep that one extended alive, and the Golden Knights are looking their way to get to the second round for the first time. And now here's Bouchard, now finds it over again to Perry. Perry right toward the right wing, he finds it again for Joe Shot, safe with the net. Got it. Now finds it over again for Joe. Echo shoots a score! Matt with two goals in the deflection. This one keeps on coming, and this one keeps on going, and this one's back to us. How's it going? How many of you have to make it to end here? So I put that in there, and then this is what I just gotta take. Just fuck it up, and then you have that go. Take a lot of good time in that, and you have it now, put it in. Wow, better than the side now. Back to the eye. What excellent perfection of the function. Put it up in the eye. And now he's at home with the buck, and now he finds it up again, looking to get a good shot. Good shot now, finds back to it. Over with the pass by Bojel. Bojel slides across, now finding it over in an open room. Gives it again, a shoot one safe by Hill. 15, 38 left to go in the third period. As they're now cut the digit three, down by two. Oh, this is again set, ready for the faceoff. Still looking for a chance to have a close game between the Oilers and the Golden Knights. Oilers wins the faceoff. Echo blocks a shot. Too many bodies in the way as McNabb will try to rebound the puck and now pull in the air away. He fires that puck around the net. And here's Echo. Echo gives it again to Bouchard. Bouchard now finds it over again to Perry. Perry, right toward the right wing. Peter gets bumped up to the wall. Now finds it over again to Bouchard, again to Fogel, and he went backwards. Well, he's going to have to try to fix it up again. I mean, it's not trying to be a great game, but this is not coming along really well. I mean, he has to make sure he has that on clearing more room. They have that one tight and bad. And you don't want to leave that one up here too soon, because if something happens, then you're going to have to have a, another go and a chance to stop that play and bad. And you need to find some another way to get through this. And now here's Nurse. Finds it in the charge. Shoots it safe, puts it in. The damn sky now back to Connor. And now he finds to get a feed off. Feed off. Pumps across. Here's Tricetto. Now finding it over to get into Nurse. Nurse on the right wing. Right wing in the slot. Back to Feed off. Again to Marcusel. Again to Brisson. 14 minutes to go in the third. Brisson. 2 on 1 opportunity. Sid puts it in by Skinner. Here's Hopkins. Fighting for the puck. Here's Potangelo. Potangelo all alone. Buck is denied, and now it goes back again to Nurse. Let's again, Nurse now is again to Kane. Kane working his way through. Fires that puck around the net. Martinez with the puck, now finds it again to Bertangelo. Here's Martinez again to Brisson. Brisson 
fights it across. Bouchard now finds again the Asian Hopkins, again to Yamar. Yamar shoots it close save by Gill. 13 of 7 left to go in the third period. Trying to keep that puck alive and get that goal ahead goals between those two teams. Well, they really are expecting now. I mean, I know they are just trying to fly it in there, but hopefully they might be keeping it in there to try to keep that out if there's another choice in there. Let's see if they can have the answers back in there. We saw it with the puck. Now finds it over again for Chenzo. Shoots for the save as he scores. Reese Dunn now has two goals in this game, looking for his third in his actual career against the against the Oilers. Well, now it's Reese Dunn with the power and the professionary, and this one's turned to be a coaching rebound, and this one is going to pick in there. When the goal to the side to the cross, that puck has been deflecting it, and that surpasses right through the goaltender. That was never why, how that got here in the first place. They're just really showing it off. And you know, Brisson, he's really making this a lot of appearances and keeping it in there at the same time. Sliding it back to is not always an easier option, but that is turning to be a little changing difficulty to have that when you're sliding it in his way. I'll find out if another goal releases for Brisson to get his third hat trick. Back to you. Lou Stephens in with the 201 fast break. Lost the puck. Finds it over to Barbashev. And Cece has it now again to Brown. Brown. And he went on with the hit. Turn it for the worst as Martinez goes back the other way. Now that's a big collision here. And I think it's going to be a hurtful way. Uh uh. Never wanted to do that. Nobody wants to do that. And Blue with the puck with 11.47 to go in the third period. Richangelo with the puck. Trying to make his way across, back down towards the other side of the ice. In the Oilers' territory, here's Petrangelo. Passing across. Now finding over on the outside again to Barbashev. Barbashev to Stephenson. No penalty call at Edmonton. Big block for our stop made by Skinner. Pujol with the puck. Fires the puck out again. Here's White Cloud. He will have a chance now with a little five to go in the third. White Cloud now finds Connor. Cotter shoots, it's blocked up, moves it around, save, puts it by Skinner. Here's CeCe, now finds it over again to Perry. Perry with the puck, right toward it in the center of the zone, trying to beat the goaltender. Saved it up quickly by Aiden Hill. Macleoy, Valley for the puck range. Keeps the puck out of here alive, and now White Cloud will have it. White Cloud trying to make his way on towards the other side of the ring. In the other territory, passes the goals are. Shoots it and safe puts up by Skinner. Just keeping it in here for Skinner for that long. Had to be a lot of a good choice. Here's White Cloud with the puck, and McDavid lost that puck. And here's another one for Rue. Pass the midway mark in the period. Rue to the left wing. Finds Gosar a shot, safe puts up by Skinner. And now McDavid has to begin the dry side. Dry side will get to Hyman. Hyman right towards in the center of the zone. Save puts up a kill. 9.35 left to go in the third period. Valley for the loose puck in the chain. Rebound puts up a recovery for the Little Knights. As Busan will now have it over to dish off. Keeps the puck out of here. Here's Kulak. Kulak on the right wing. Dumps the puck into the Vegas territory. Vegas are back in the offense as now McNabb will have it in towards the Bay Oilers territory. Yarmulks have got it across in the center ice. Tries to be over into the two. Aiden Hill crashes the catch. And that puck with 8.50 to go. If you're looking for your next game in here between four games, one at the second round, we have a next one that will be ready for you to start off the Eastern Conference first before the Western Conference. The first game will be happening here in the Hurricanes. We'll face against the Tampa Bay Lightnings at PNC Arena. That will be starting with this first game at 3.30 p.m. Following along with the next game as we have at 5.30 p.m. This will be the next part of the game as we have another matchup for you. And as the Bay Bullies face against the uh, Boston Bruins. And then, at, right now at 8.30 p.m., we've got our next game between the zones. As we have the next part of the game, as we've got the Avil I got the Jets and the Stars at American Airlines Center. And finally, the last part of the game will be in between the votes two, between the winning of the Golden Knights and the winning of the Edmonton Oilers to face against 
the Vancouver Canucks in Rogers Place. Now first game will be starting on its way here at 10.30 p.m. in Vancouver of British, uh, British Columbia. So catch all your games year round only on the Seven Beasts channel. Keep it on the team between. And thank you all so much for subscribing. You are all the best. We can't wait to appreciate for new bites. But there's more to come. Yeah, it's definitely true. Thank you all so much, everybody. The Sun and Beast. And I always appreciate you. I never you bring you viewers here with you. You guys are definitely were happy enough to have that one with some new subscribers. I have it every day of their lifetime. I can't wait to see what goes in there with some of our next subscriber milestone if they get to 700. If he gets there to 700, I'll be great. I'll love that one if you're it. And here's the Gunner King, the puck. Towards the right wing. This is way across. Takes a smash kick. Peter trying to hold on with that puck. Well, the chef's got it now. Seven minutes to go in the third period. Peter gets again to Amidio. Amidio, finding again the second save. Shoots it, save by Skinner. Peter's hiding. Finds again. That call. What's the McDavid? McDavid trying to reach it across to dry side. Now shoots it, close save by Aiden Hill. 6.37 left to go in the third period. Looking for a goal to take it from here. Now here's the call. I'll send it over to Cool Beats. The turns is doing really well. A better defensive on shutdown. It's been playing the great ones to take. I was really enjoying it of those guys. They've been playing really well. And now, hopefully, this will be the next one to keep it on. Here's the video. And Ivan will have the puck here again. And now finally again to McDavid. McDavid can't find an open look in the, this uh, the full sprint. But McDavid tries to have it over on the right wing. Here's Kuchar. Kuchar can't hold on to the puck. It is McDavid. Trying to fuck it in there. This one has been knocked over with a stopping save by Aiden Hill. Martinez grabbing the puck out there. Connor McDavid really wants his, his team back to get a goal. Shoots it save by Hill. 5.15 left to go in the third period. Keeps the puck out of here. Here's that call. Finds the game for Jeff. For Jeff. To the middle. Trying to keep the puck out of here. And now it's back to Fogel. Again, I have no Back to Fogel. Fogel. Here's the short shot. Save by Gill. 5 16 left to go in the third period. Fans are going silent right now. They're trying to get their goals back ahead with three of them. They need to have that one with the goals in there. If they don't have enough timing, then it's the clock comes down, winding down to zero, because this is really what they don't do. They don't pick up the play out easily, and this is not turning to be what they're expecting to do. They can't let this happen until until then, the next goal comes in. The Orleans are getting to regroup as McLeod will have it. Slides a kick. Nurse has it. And then again to CC. CC shoots. Stop made here by Hill and McLeod. You're getting the CC shooting again. That one's off the defender of it, and it goes right toward the wall back to the You know, easy what the defender does is because the clashing of the Golden Knights are really are expecting to play in that fall, and they are really been pushing their way through. And definitely with Golden Knights, we love to have that Golden with that helmet on and for playing at home games. This might be what they are expecting to see. If there is a greater, greater amount than not, they can really try to keep that protection in there for good. And this goal's a shot saved by Skinner. Now, the Skinner is just trying to put it in there. Your team will be forever remembering, but hopefully by then, until the next season, we'll try to keep it in there. Oh, big save by Aiden Hill with 3.48 to go in the third. Trying to get a two goal in the game before the time runs out. All of this is getting set, ready for the faceoff. 7 4 is the score. Begging something. By three. Now it's a win. If they now will have it. Finding to get a straight feed door. And here's Carlson. Where are we going to march us up? March us up. Gives again the feed door. Here's another one for Bissau. With 3 3 left to go. In the third. To keep the puck out. Plus save by Skinner. 3 23 left to go in the third period. They're still trying to find an answer, as they're just trying to get three goals in there before it's too late. Now the win puts in as McNabb will have it. Chops the puck up as we got it by Nugent Hawkins. Yamark with the puck with 3.10 to go. 
Slides across, here's a cane shot. Big save by Hayden Hill. Now this one's gonna take a little bit of turn to the horse, but that was worrying to be what that goal turned in. That one was turning to be a little harder on that string. They need to make sure they have that one stopping him by. And the save puts up by Skinner with 2.45 left to go to third period. Trying to keep it out of here, and it's now a 7-4 game still. The win for 10 for Peter. Moves it around, saved by Skinner. 2 period nine left to go in the third period. Golden Knights have been a better team, Norbert, than the Oilers. Well, they expect it now. I think the Golden Knights are really, are, they want to come back into the second round. They've been playing it so long, and they are really are trying to make this one a lot of the healthy situations in there, and they are trying to make this one like a harder percentage, inbounding, you know. It's hard one that they are expecting to see what goes in there next. You know, I've been really seeing it a whole dominant performance effort. Golden Knights are just going to be taking in there, and he says, Hi, we have made it to the first round. We're going to see what they can do to face against the next team. And the visitor slides here back to Canada again to face the next team of the Golden Knights against the Vancouver Canucks. Dry side up. Trying to put the puck out of here, and gives it over for Carlson. In front of two minutes to go. Carlson lost that puck as Dry Silent gives it to Gunnar Huchar. And he misses again. March itself back the other way. Right towards the right wing. On a shot, slapped up with the motion as the stick is chopped off. Leon dry side off. Finds McDavid, shoots it, and goes in. He went in the Trying to take it with the goal. Back down by two. Get a first game in. Let's watch out one more time now. He didn't really get punched in the nose, but that's not what we're going to do for the puck and the dragon. Fun to get taken, that's the deal. They have to tie that game up, and of course they, they're trying to make this one a great big game now. They have a four-man advantage in there. They are really stepping it up right now, and they are just trying to get that one back in there as soon as they can. As a win for Tim Brady Oilers, he's been taken for three! This one has been knocking over. Man advantage is on, Echo shoots it! He got to step in here by Aiden Hill. 7-10. We'll bring the team. Just final minute remaining in the third. Echo finds Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl to shoot one. That save base by Ian Hill. Luchangelo finds it over it again. And Emilio firing deep is denied. Luchard's got it now with 40 seconds left to go. Here's with David. Chance now back again to Echo. Deep pass again to Evander Kane. Six is blocked. Here's Kane. Backing over to get it to Hopkins. Kane's on a shot. This one's to fuck it off. Under 30 seconds remaining in the third period. And Martinez will have it over now to Barbashev. Clearing the puck out. Shoots it's blocked. And that will have to end here. Which are your teams will have to take their home. And this will be the end of it for the Canadian team to be the last ones to be out. Not what you always expect it now because they have been really dominating this effort and they don't have the right time to do this. It was nowhere to be in yet. And that's going to do. Golden Knights are moving on to the second round to face against the Canucks, and they're at Vancouver. Well, good guy in the sense, Aiden Hill brought their team in. First round is complete. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with Boomer, along with Lightbolt and Wood Spoonie, along with Cool Beast. This is the presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining up us, and peace out. Till now. Bye-bye. All right, guys, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. Third star tonight will go right to Aiden Hill with amazing effort, 76 saves of the game. Then the second star goes to Brendan Brisson with two goals, one assist, and two hits. Only took it a lot of bigger chances here. No hat trick for this time, but it just only had two to finish it off. And your first star goes to Alex Petrangelo with one goal, three assists, and 14 hits. Big hits on the impact, but that was changing everything that he had. Now for the total statistics. 81 over 78 for the total shots on goal for Edmonton. 79 over 69 hits for Edmonton. 558 fast break points for Edmonton over, Be over Vegas. Then it was 93 over 92 passing percentage for Vegas. 
And the Golden Knights only had 40 face-off wins over 17, with only 6-minute penalty kill for Vegas, and no power play goals made for the Edmonton Oilers. So that is it now. First round has been complete, and I hope that everybody's enjoying this first part of the game. And we're ready to move on to the second round. That's right now the part of the next game of the probable matchups. Hurricanes against the Lightning. Van Crosser here on the East Western Conference is the Jets versus the Stars. Then back to the Eastern Conference, the Bruins and the Maple Leafs. That'll be, a, that'll be game two underway here shortly. Then the last part of it on the Western Conference side is the Golden Knights facing against the Vancouver Canucks. That will end this game, and I hope you have fun too. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. This is Son of Beast, thanking you for watching. Till next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.